So we're going to graph uh, piecewise functions here, actually piece, one piecewise function. And here it is, and if you've never seen one of these, they look pretty strange. I can remember the first time I saw one of these. And, and, but really we're just dealing with functions that we know just about everything about. For instance, this first function, x plus one. I think everybody knows, I'm gonna put a little graph here, what this thing looks like. Uh, here's one, right, it's got a one slope, looks like that, pretty easy. Well, I can make a better graph than that, there it is, there's a line. And here we've got a parabola that's moved up three units, so what I've got is this, and one, two, three, right, it looks like this. Just to sketch it gently here, oh, that's not a very good sketch, let me fix that up there. And then this one is just a horizontal line, right, y equals four. And so it looks like this, one, two, three, four. Okay, roughly that's what it looks like, okay? Because we're talking about y equals x plus one, y equals x squared plus three, and y equals four. But not all of these functions are gonna operate at the same time. In fact, like only one is gonna operate at a time. For instance, when x is less than one, was greater than one, then this function will be in play. When x is, x, uh, when x is greater than or equal to negative one and less than or equal to one, this function will be in play. And when x finally is less than negative one out here, this function will be in play. In other words, only one will be in play at a time over these various domains. And that's why we what call a piecewise function. We split the domain into pieces here, three pieces. So I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll start with uh, x plus one. This, we're gonna have this line, but it's gonna start here, not including one, but I still graph one. I put one in there and I get two, one, two, Okay, and I know it's since the slope is one, it's just x, I go over one and up one, so I've got that, and it goes like this. So when x is greater than one, we get this function here, and it stops right there. What happens after that? Between negative one and one, including those, we have x squared plus three. So I, I put in one in here, and I guess I'm gonna get four, all right, so I go up here to four. It's a solid line, we, and we know that uh, when I put in zero, I've got down here. Three. What this looks like. I'm, yeah, I get three when I put in zero for x. Oops, oh, missed. Thank you. And I'm glad I got a student out there. And I got three right here, don't I? And then when I put in negative one, I get another. Of course, I get uh, one. I get four, don't I? So I'm right here. And these are solid points. And it looks like a u, doesn't it? It looks just like this. But notice it's only notice that it's only part of the u. It's only the part that's between negative one and one. Okay, and when I get to this one where x is less than negative one, then I have the horizontal line four. Well, this is four right here, so it means it's gonna go, it's open, but it's filled in with this other point uh, from the previous graph, and it goes out here like this. And it goes on forever, just like that goes on forever. And there's a picture, real strange looking function, but in real life, uh, rarely do we, can we describe something with just one function. We often have to describe it with several. And this is, notice that the, the, the domain is cut into pieces. Now I can ask myself, what are the function? I can ask myself a few function values. What's function of 10? How would I figure that out? Well, when x is greater than or equal to one, this is what I use. So I'm gonna move this a little bit here. Function of 10 is gonna be 10 um, plus one, which equals 11. That's what it's gonna be, because I put the 10 right into the, the first function. When I say function of one, which of these three functions should I use? Well, this one, because it includes one, doesn't it? So I put one into this, and I get four. And then function of negative 12, well, when x is less than negative one, the function is a constant value of four. It's four from then on, so it's four. 